welcome to another edition of This Week in YouTube, the show that was featured on a show that's nominated for a streamy. There are a lot of hyphenates here, but Lon Harris and Shira Lazar, co-hosts of This Week in YouTube. Plus, we film in the same studio as the Kevin Pollack chat show. Also, I once almost talked to Felicia Day at a party. It's basically the same as getting nominated ourselves. I'm Lon Harris. And I'm Kenny Chen. Our top story this week, Alex Day is feeling nostalgic for his old Pokemon games. And I miss the cycling road, don't you know? I miss the music too. And I can't believe you used to be in black and white. Pokemon, what happened to you? That's ridiculous. I know, right? I mean, Pokemon's still going stronger than ever. I mean, I heard in Pokemon Rangers, Shadows of Almia for the DS, you travel to Oblivia where you meet a Pichu who's proficient on the ukulele. Yeah, you know what, Ken? Don't, uh, don't ever ask me if you can co-host again. It's all right. The 2010 Winter Games in Vancouver closed out this week with the sort of reserved, sophisticated good taste for which Canadians have become known the world over. And the always enjoyable giant inflatable beaver. Ah, uh, but enough of the William Shatner surprise appearance. The Chinese featured some beavers in their Beijing closing ceremony, but it later turned out they were all underage. Darn, you know who needs to get taken down a peg or two? This is Justin Bieber punk. And Dave Days is just the man for the job. Nobody's such a baby. Baby, 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 oh, baby, 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 oh, baby, 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 oh, baby, baby, Dave had hoped to show the parody directly to Bieber, but the pop star's mom has taken away his internet privileges for two whole weeks. And he just has to learn how to eat his vegetables. There's just no other way. You know, at This Week in YouTube, we get a lot of comments on our videos, but one request we've heard over and over again is that you want to see boobs. Well, wait no longer. Tell the audience, dude, like, what inspires you to, to dress like this? Um, uh, make smiles to people's faces. And bring smiles to, pre to people's faces. Now you understand why Lady Gaga usually wears all that makeup and crazy costumes. You know, the only downside of this outfit really is that you have to get hit on by Charlie Sheen all night. Other than that, lots of fun. For those of you who hate watching a carefully constructed narrative unfold as it was intended, the Fine Brothers are here to ruin some more movies, including all 10 Best Picture nominees. The doctor who used to be friends with the main character becomes Cobra Commander, Zartan disguises himself as the president, and the Fine Brothers cry as they've ruined the franchise they love so much! Sherlock Holmes solves the mystery! Duh! Tiana and Prince Naveen get married in the frog world, which turns Tiana into a real princess, which turns them both human, and they live happily ever after. I say we go in one better. How do we do that? By spoiling the endings to sequels of 2009 movies that haven't even come out yet! Sam finally realizes that the whole plug and organic tube inside your hair into other plants and animals thing is sort of gross and wrong, but it's too late. He's sort of married to it now. In the 1950s, Lieutenant Aldo Ray comes out of retirement to fight Joseph Stalin, who has taken possession of a valuable alien artifact, all with the help of his smart alecky son. I guess George Lucas is doing this one. An audience awakes to discover that the popularity of Paul Blart Mall Cop and its sequel were all just a bad dream. Harry works in a series of demeaning jobs, drives a beat-up 12-year-old car, and never takes a vacation, yet still finds it difficult to keep up with his exorbitant, wizarding student loan payments. Really? They're gonna keep doing these? Nah, I doubt it. Everything goes A-OK -okay for the Jews from here on out. And that does it for This Week in YouTube. Remember, we're on again this Friday with more memorable, potentially award-worthy streaming video goodness. So for Lon Harris, I'm Kenny Chen, watching YouTube so you don't have to. I want the love man.